Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's I look at it, I'm like, it looks smaller than my normal hauls, but I think we could probably get into some time here. So I'm anxious to share all my finds with you guys. Um, I'm just, before we get started, I... Today is July 26th, but you will see it on Wednesday, July 27th. You guys are watching it right now. It's July 27th. Yay, we've already skipped a day. <laughs> um, but you, if you guys are Canadian like me, you know that we do have a long weekend coming up this weekend. It is the Civic Long Weekend, so we do have a Monday off. Um, so, and it also is my birthday weekend. So <laughs> Craig and Jackson and I will just take a little time to ourselves. Um, so there won't be a video for this coming Saturday, um, just because again, we'll just, um, be hanging out and whatnot. So the next video, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do a haul because if we are just kind of, I'm not planning on going shopping this weekend. So the next video is coming up. It is the five under five challenge. And you guys know that happens on the fifth of every month. So August 5th is I think a Thursday or a Friday this year. Um, so if that's the case, I'm not going to do probably, I may do a video on Wednesday, but if not, I'll just do my five under five challenge. Don't worry about all of that right now. I'm going to leave all that information in the community page as well. So you guys won't forget. Um, but yes, I think because I'm working on some DIYs right now, I have a four out of five done. So I'm super excited. But of course, you have to edit, do voiceover and all that fun stuff as well. So I have a little bit of time to go with that. So I think I just need to focus on my five under five. And I will just um, go back to our regular Wednesdays and Saturday um, videos after that. So without further ado, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you guys like this sort of content. Remember, I just had a giveaway on a Monday. I did announce the winner. Um, I will post it again next video. I still haven't heard from her yet. So keep, you know, if you guys know this person, let her know. <laughs> um, but yes, I uh, have put that video in the YouTube world. Uh, my email is in the description box as well. So you can always send me an email with your address and I will send out that gift to you ASAP. All right, let's begin with this Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to start with this. So I follow uh, a, a friend of mine. She is also a YouTuber as well. Uh, we have discovered we're only about an hour-ish drive from each other. I I, I keep thought, thinking we should get together. We have talked about it, but then I you know, summer, things like that happen, right? But it is Gail Patricia's Dollar Tree Hauls and more. She found these and I was like, I've never seen these before. The apple, the, so the Granny Appleton, um, the chocolate peanut butter eggies. So are these like the M&Ms? I want to, I want, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm not going to open them just yet because I think I'm going to keep them for our long weekend, um, this weekend. So but I'm anxious to give these a try. I'll, I'll let you guys know, but she says they're absolutely delicious. They're super smooth. Um, yeah, I want to say like eggies. In my mind, I'm thinking like eggies, you know, like Maltesers with that crunchy crispiness in the middle. Those I'm, I'm okay with. I'm not a huge fan of those, but I hope it's just like the smooth M&M peanut butter ones, but we'll see. Uh, and again, these, so yeah, in Canada, um, everything went up to $1.50, but for the food, this is actually only $1.25. So just so you guys know, just to be aware, it's only $1.25. I think in the U.S. as well, let me know, all my American friends, let me know, in the U.S., I know everything went up to $1.25, but is your food only a dollar? Let me know. So we got that. And then I picked up this as well, so $1.25. I was super happy because I think I showed another flavor of this and I thought it was $1.50 so I was even happier to know that it was $1.25 but Dr. Oetker the lemon drizzle cake mix remember the other one I had it was like the caramel one and you could get your own little pan in there but it's like just like a little eight by eight paper pan that you can bake with obviously but they also have a carrot cake one so now the lemon and the um, caramel one so I'm anxious to give that a try I might make that actually for our uh, long weekend so we'll see <laughs> Um, and okay, so that's it for the food. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple little things here. So you guys know I just did, uh, recently I just did a Dollar Tree shop with me. I'll leave that link in the description box as well so you guys can take a look. There's some really fun things coming out right now. Um, so this, 
just random. I thought this was super cute. Uh, it's a head wrap by the fashion brand, but how cute is that? So you got the little elastic on the bottom and it's got the little um, sewn in area or like the rippled area. And then, yeah, I just thought that would be so cute. I love that color. Yeah, so that'd be super fun. I might just wear this on the weekend as well. But yeah, it doesn't feel, and it feels like it's loose enough, so it won't feel too tight on my head. I do have a big head. You guys know I did a haul with a, a baseball hat one time, and I was almost at like the biggest uh, button. Anyway, yeah, my my um, the dilemma in my life, you know, I can't wear a hat, but you know. Anyway, this we'll see what happens with this. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> And I saw these really, really cute. I actually bought this, I think maybe when I do another giveaway in the future, or if I have a birthday coming up or something like that. But there was four different ones. I have a picture, um, but this one was one in a melon. How cute is this little Jot notebook? Uh, I think it's by Jot. It doesn't actually say, but um anyway you got 100 sheets in this one and they're just like those lined sheets i actually like using these books i write down my little diys for some future videos um but yeah these are just really really cute i just love the pattern there's another one with a pineapple i think there was a peach as well but yeah I, this one was the one that uh drew me in <laughs> so i got that and so this, so we're going to go, like, I'm just kind of just randomly throwing everything out there. I'm not really going into any order of things. Um, but this, I know people have hauled these over and over and over again. And it's like, I don't need one. I don't have a lot of little things. I don't have a lot of little things. But now I'm, you know what, there are a few things like buttons and beads and whatnot. So I did pick up myself one of these Jot organizer cases. Um... You get the little compartments and I think you can actually, no, you can't actually remove anything out of here, but, um, I think these are going to come in handy. Even if I have some round things, I can put them in here. You see where it looks like it's round. So I know I have like lemon slices. I'm going to see if those actually fit in there, but yeah, those would be, I think this is going to come in handy. I'll organize it. My, I still have to organize my craft room, um, get things off my table as well, just so I have some more space to work with. But yes, picked up one of those for $1.50. And I picked up this. Um, it's not this one that I use in my 5 under 5 video that's coming up. The 5 under 5 uh, theme for this, for August theme is, um, it's called Fall Frenzy Home Decor. So it's all about fall DIY. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But anyway, I picked up one of these. I have picked up the red ones in the past, but I only picked up one of these because I have a lot of black and white Buffalo check table runners. Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, even the Dollar Tree chart chargers from I just I've got a lot so I just needed one but I was gonna make something with this but you'll see in my five under five DIY video that's coming up what I actually do with another thing that I have <laughs> that's similar <laughs> just a little a little um uh sneak peek <laughs> got that and so these are the crafters aisle I picked up this. This was really, really cute. I've seen stickers with the pictures like this, um, but I just picked up, it's a chipboard shapes one piece in the crafter square. But look at that. How cute is that? A little window. So you can take the whole thing out. I don't know if it's a sticker. I think it's just, um, it's just a cardboard paper. So you can actually hot glue it to something or put it in a picture frame. So I really like that. <laughs> and these again guys these are new to me at the dollar tree i only picked up one or two out of three different shapes um i've never seen these and i should have picked up a couple more of these ones but i'm i'm you know what i Right now, I am trying to be minimal in what I buy. I don't want to go overboard because I know I still have a lot of stuff from last year or even the previous year that I want to use before I start buying more wood pieces. But these were really cute. I had to pick one up because I haven't seen this size before. Again, you could get them in the lighter wood and you just stain them that color. But then also, yes, I saw the uh, circle. So the other shape that I did not pick up is a square because I've used the squares in some other previous DIYs. So I was like, you know what? I want different this time. So that's why I picked up a rectangle and a triangle. But how gorgeous are those? And you already have, like, you can actually, like, this side, if you wanted to, you can turn it into, like, the barn door, you know? Um, this one... What can you do this with? 
um but yeah these are really fun to have in my stash and i picked up another one of these um i picked up one more of the three pack of the dye wood dice so these are always good to have i know they had the square dice or the square cubes at the Dollar Tree, but they're a little bit bigger than this. But you only got one for $1.25 or $1.50 now. And this, you actually got three for $1.50. So I think I'm just gonna use these from now on. I think I have one more of those big cubes left, but I'll use that for something else. But yes, I love these, picked up one of those. So now I have, so three in a package. So I have nine total of these. Or like, you know, how like in the package there's three. So I meant like three times three is nine. So that's what I meant. I have nine cubes all together. <laughs> Got that. And I picked up this. This was fun. Um, you can do so many things with this, um, but it's a hanging one. It says home. So, you know, I know they're right now, they have little stands out right now at the Dollar Tree with those little orange, um, they almost look like, not clematis, what are they called? Carna uh, carnations, I, or are they carnations, carnations, carnations. Um, but yeah, you can do so many things with that. I think they had a love one as well, if I'm not mistaken. And okay, I got some more of the calendars because I have a friend that I'm actually going to send some to. So I picked up one more of these ones. Um, you guys know all of the, uh, the fun uh, patterns and pictures on the back as well. So you have the small print and then you also have the big print as well. I picked up this one one day at a time. So then this one has this on the back, little beehive. Those were so fun too. Got that. And then this one I also picked up home, sweet home. So I picked, that's really cute with a little planter. And then of course, look at the little pig. I love that, so fun. And that. So I picked up those. I'm super excited. They're out everywhere, guys. So go now. Um, you know they don't last very long in the stores, but I've been to a couple now since my last haul with the calendars and they're in a few other stores now. So run, <laughs> don't walk. <laughs> and guys, okay, I only picked up one color and I'm probably kicking myself for not buying more. But again, I have so many of these already from last year. I have the buffalo plaid ones from last year. I have just even the little um, foam ones as well. But these were so stinking cute not to pass up. They look like little sweater pumpkins. So there's three in a pack, but look at those. Like, look at those. Like, they are actually, I mean, I don't know what, yeah, they're, just look at the top like these things are so nice like the quality of these are amazing they had i think i have a picture so i have there was like four different colors i think so there's a blue there's a lighter beige there's a brown and i think there's an orange and one of my youtubers was saying that there's like a purple i haven't seen the purple so anyway but look at those how stinking cute are these little sweater pumpkins and remember they're just a clip they're only foam so you can take the clip off and you can actually use one of those bamboo skewers and just stick it poke it right through the pumpkin and you can use those in some flower arrangements as well yep got that all right well that is it so yeah we're at 13 minutes so that didn't last that long so it's a nice shorter video than my normal videos again i haven't really gone out a lot um just because it is a long weekend coming up and um you know just would like to save some money for our just you know hanging out going to dinner or whatever you know and it's my birthday so you know <laughs> i'm hoping to have a lot of fun this week <laughs> that's my plan <laughs> um anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video remember to hit that subscribe button just click that bell button right beside it to be notified every single time i upload a new video and remember the i'm gonna skip probably this weekend and i'm just gonna post my next video on august 5th Again, I can't remember if it's a Thursday or a Friday, but that is the five under five challenge and it is a fall frenzy home decor DIY video. And again, I already have four done. I have one more to go. I just have to edit. So that's what I might do this long weekend as well. That's fine. I could always take an hour out of my time just to edit the video to get it out in time. All right. Have a wonderful day. And for my fellow Canadians, I'm not sure. Okay, guys, this probably stupid of me but is there an American holiday this weekend too I'm not sure but to all my Canadian friends hope you have a fabulous long weekend and we'll definitely see you guys at the next video bye for now <laughs>